So the software that runs on the color controller is called Venus OS, and that can actually run on three different types of devices. You've got your color controller. There's a new device that's come out recently called the Venus GX. Now this is basically a color controller, but without the touch screen and controls. The advantage of this is it's half the price almost. It also has another advantage. It's got the ability to take in uh, your tank level information directly. So you don't need to buy a separate device to incorporate that data. So the third type of device you can use is a Raspberry Pi. You can actually run the Venus software that runs on both the Venus GX and the color controller. You can run that on a Raspberry Pi, add your own screen or touch screen and use it directly. Or you can use it headless. So this is where the color controller is sending all the information to. So when you log in here, you get a list of all your installations. I've only got the one, my Eat Sleep Van Van. Clicking on that gives you an overview. And you can see here I've had the solar charge controller off until just recently, and then it suddenly sprouted up. Gives you an overview of the current uh, consumption and the solar yield and battery state location of where I am. You can filter that to consumption. You can see how much solar you've been generating. So let's change this to the last seven days. And you can see I had my solar charge controller off yesterday, but on previous days. You can see here a percentage of each day is used directly. So direct from the solar panels to the device using it and then the rest goes into the battery. And you see we had some bad weather, things got worse as the week went on. There's an advanced panel here as well from the menu. So you can see here, we, again you can see your time period, let's go to the last seven days. I'll give you some cool little graphs. DC power, let's see I put something heavy on then. Solar charger, charger current, summary of solar, AC power, battery voltage, current, and you can configure what's up here on this advanced page here. There's heaps of options, all the information you could possibly want. Also in the menu, we've got a device list. I'll show you all your devices. So I've got color controller, my multi plus inverter charger, battery monitor, and solar charger. Settings, so you can set up a number of settings here, like the name of your installation. Yeah, we'll get rid of Van Van, that's a stupid. Oh, there's a geofence, so if your device leaves this area, it will alert you. Photos, you can upload a couple of photos about your van. Doesn't seem to work very well, but there she is in all her glory. And there's alarms, and if there's any problems, it can alert you. So one final feature of this, you can also share this page, and there's a share section here. I've got sharing enabled. It gives you a URL, so if you want to send this or your stats to someone else, you can. I've got this showing on Victron World as well, so Google Victron World and you can see if you can find Eat Sleep Van in New Zealand. And you can view my stats. So this gives you direct control of your device from anywhere over the internet. And it mirrors basically exactly what you're seeing. See, it takes a bit of time to load. It's, it's using VNC. You can do everything like you could before. You can change the screens. Because it's so slow, it's a bit hard to do these things that are timed. As you can see there, I failed. But if you push it twice and then wait for it, you know it's going to change screens. There we go. And again, you can go into the menus just like you could before and do anything. Let's have a real quick look what the VRM app on the phone looks like. 
you can see I've got it installed here. Just click on it. Basically, this is quick access to the Victron VRM world. I'm automatically logged in as me and it lists all my sites. You can click on that and it gives you a basic overview of what you've got installed. So, for example, I've got my DC system. Solar panels are off at the moment. AC, the fridge is on, consuming 87 watts. There's a bit of historical data here. For example, you can see a minimum, maximum voltages, time since last charge, how many charge cycles you've had. Now that's a brief summary of your VRM world. If you want to actually view all the data, there's a button up here, top right, and that'll actually log you into the website. So it's a nice handy shortcut. And this will give you the same charts and information that you've seen previously. So the same menu exists. So if you click on that, you can go to advanced and you can even go to remote control. When you're doing this from your phone, you have to put your phone into landscape mode. But as you can see, we'll be able to go into remote control and control a device. Pretty cool. So the remote control of your Victron device can be done in two ways. First of all, you can connect through VRM World, and that means you can do it from anywhere. The second option is to connect directly to the device on your local network using a web browser. It's basically got a little web page in the controller that serves up a VNC session of the device so you can access it just like you can through the VRM website. The big advantage of accessing it directly is it's a lot faster because you, instead of having to go out on the internet, you're talking directly to the device. Finally, let's have a look at command line access to your color controller. Now, because this is a little computer, you can actually SSH, which is uh, basically command line remote control of your device. So why would you want to do this? I'm planning to program up my Raspberry Pi to actually ask the color controller some questions about what the current voltage level is of the batteries, whether the charge controller is generating any power at the moment, and then you can do intelligent things based on that. For example, I can make the Raspberry Pi turn on the hot water cylinder if there's enough power being generated and it's a suitable time of day to do that. Let's have a real quick look what it looks like to log into the color controller and issue some of these commands. We'll just set it to A, A, A. A, A, A. Please don't remember this. So we need to do an SSH to 192.168.1.102. And we're going to set the username to root. And the password is AAA AAA. And there we go. Now we're logged into our box. Now you may be wondering, well, what can you do with this? So I figured out a few commands here to be able to get values from the device. And so here's an example. We're going to get the current power level. And you can see it says 398, and that is exactly the amount of power we're generating at the moment. So let's see how much current it's currently generating. 14 amps, which is about right. And you can see if we check that again, it would have changed. 13 amps. So that's what's coming in from the PV charger. Now a list of all these values you can get are available on their website. I haven't quite figured out how to set values yet. 